Hey everyone, this is Chad Agarwal. I'm the owner of Perfect Clicks LLC. We're a digital marketing agency based here in Parsippany, New Jersey. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Zoho API integrations, what's available to you, what are the examples out there. We're gonna to stick to the narrow integrations of files, documents, uploads, and images, just because there's so many possibilities of what you're able to do with the Zoho API. If you have some basic knowledge about how to run APIs, integrate different applications, make sure you make your API calls, work with some sort of a client, and then be able to push that data into the solution that you need, you can pretty much take all of your Zoho CRM data and push it into pretty much any direction that you want it to go. So today we're gonna to be working with a client. We built out a custom system for them. We actually moved them onto a new Zoho CRM account so that way they could upgrade the, the previous system they were using, too many limitations. And while there were some limitations with Zoho, we were able to solve those limitations by using their API. So today I'm gonna to show you quite a few examples of how you use the Zoho API integration to pretty much do almost anything you want. And it'll be very helpful for your business and hopefully if you're any developers out there as well, hopefully this will help you too. So let us know if you have any questions about Zoho or the CRM. We are a premium partner or authorized partner for Zoho. So we've done plenty of projects. We've also worked with a lot of other CRM systems like Salesforce and Insightly and Pipedrive. We understand the limitations of different platforms and this is a really stable platform. And if you understand what you can do with it, the sky's the limit. So that being said, let's jump into it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the other side. All right, so let's jump right into it here. You have the Zoho CRM API, you have REST APIs, bulk APIs, notification APIs, and query APIs. What that basically means is that you can pull data out of the API in many different ways, whether you just want notifications or you, you know, most people are gonna end up using a REST API. You should be able to make an OAuth 2.0 authentication. This is now the standard for many APIs, especially if you're doing a REST API and you should be able to familiar with being able to make an API call. And don't worry about if you can't do this personally, definitely you can get a developer to do it or you can give us a call, but there's just so much that you can do with getting your info exported in this kind of JSON format or uh, a payload like this as well. So once you've registered your application, you can make your request, uh, you can generate your access tokens, which are all very simple and easy to do using um, Zoho CRM's platform. You can then decide, all right, what do I want to do with my data? So first I'm gonna show you an example of a custom form that we built where we needed the information to be transferred over. You have a few different types of fields. You have an image field that goes right here. Then you have an image upload field. You have an image upload field. And then you also have what's called a file upload field, which is a little bit different. And then on top of that, once you go into a module or a deal, you have your attachments. So you have all of these files and media that can be stored in many different ways. And depending on the client, they may want to upload that file or an image or an attachment. Now, Zoho CRM does integrate with platforms like Google Drive and Microsoft OneDrive. So you can upload your attachments automatically, but it's important to know the distinction between an attachment, a file upload, and an image upload, and then also an image that's associated with a module. So first we're gonna go through how to download a photo. Now this is actually the photo that's associated with a module or a record ID. So this isn't a photo that you would normally upload in a file or photo upload field or an image upload field, uh, but you can get the photo that's associated with a record ID and you can download that photo. You can do this through pretty much all the supported modules, including custom modules. Next, you have the image upload field, which we've seen. And this is something that Zoho introduced about two years ago. It's been very helpful that people can up, upload images, whether you're in real estate, you might be uploading property images, or if you're designing something, you need to show photos, or if you're in construction, you might have to show an inspection or a report. So. Images are really helpful within Zoho CRM, and then you could take those images and stick them in an email and send them out. Once again, this is what your image upload fields look like. You just click new image and you can upload an image from your phone, your tablet, or your desktop. You can just drag and drop, or you can click to browse your image from your desktop. Now to download that image, 
out of the Zoho API is not that simple. We were able to find the solution on a forum where you know, somebody else was really looking to download the file from a file upload field. Now this works for the file upload fields or the image upload fields. Sorry guys, if things change over time or anything like that, make sure you're doing your own research so it's, it's not on us, it's on you. But here they, it was a very helpful answer where you can evoke the files API to fetch the files. Now that's huge because then you could use Zoho's CRM's files API to get images, documents or other uploads or file uploads that are associated with that record. So basically what that means is you go over to the get files and it's literally just get files. Um, and then what you can do is take that API and reference the ID of that media. And this, this forum was, you know, this isn't in the documentation necessarily, but this person was very helpful in the forum where it says right here that you can get the file ID from the file upload field data, which is basically that comes out in the payload of the API. And then you can pass it as the main ID to the files API. That's absolutely huge. This is what they're talking about, the files ID. So you could take that file ID from the payload, plug it right in there, and you'll be able to extract that exact file and get the data to be able to attach that image to it into an email or actually insert it into the email as well. So, so far you found out how to get the image. Uh, that would be an image associated with record. Now you know how to download images that are either uploaded via the image upload field or the file upload field. And finally, which is separate, is how to download an attachment. You can actually download the attachments associated with a record. Now, the only downside to using an attachment is that you can't upload the attachment upon submission. You actually have to create the record and then upload the attachment later. So if you have a workflow where people are submitting records just on the fly, you really probably want to use a file upload or a document upload or an image upload field rather than attachments. However, if you're pulling in PDFs or contracts or agreements and signatures from other systems, or you wanna be able to upload an attachment to the record, once it's submitted, you can do that. So once again, to attach that attachment, you would have the record submitted, and then you would just simply click attach, upload files, documents. You can link your other drives or even from a URL right here. Now, what you can do is actually download the attachments to your drives, you can save them to a local system, you can back them up to your server, you can even take those attachments and attach them with a deal, you can send them as an automatic email. Um, there's so many different ways that you can take the attachments and that are associated with a deal that you're working for your business and make sure that they're secure or using them in a way that works for your company. This could lead to saving plenty of time for your staff when everything's completely automated. This is what Zoho refers to as sales automation. So guys, that pretty much covers Zoho API integrations for images, documents, file uploads, attachments, and even the image associated with a record. There are a lot more possibilities of what you could do with Zoho CRM. If you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments below or reach out to us directly at info at perfectclicks.com. I would really appreciate it if you did leave a like on the video as it does help us out and let us know that we're doing a good job too. Also, if you could subscribe for more videos and watch some of the ones coming up right now.